Hey, motherfuckers. Anyways, anyways, y'all, I'm sick. I have COVID, so yeah. Literally, um, I've been in this bed just being sick like a dog. Um, I don't know how I got COVID. I could only assume that I probably got COVID Friday after work, either on the train, you know, being in people's place on the train. I'm starting to wear my mask because, bitch, I did not, I did not, I wasn't built for this shit. Okay, that's one, two. Why the fuck is COVID still coming around here? Like, I just cannot. But anyways, so I probably got it like Friday. The shit probably sat in my body Saturday. That motherfucker said, bitch, I'm up on Sunday. <laughs> I'm ready to come get you, bitch. Knock me the fuck, knock you the fuck out. And did it? It did. So by the time Sunday came around, Sunday dinner, I'm eating. Everything feels so fine. I'm nice outside. I'm like, ooh, feel like a bad bitch. Get ready to go to my grandparents' house, eat, chilling, and coming home. If I'm at my grandparents' house, my ear start itching me, my throat start fucking up. I'm like, fuck, what's going on? I'm thinking it's my sinus. So I'm preparing myself. I'm like, shit, I'm supposed to go out that night type shit. Got home, I said, Mommy, I don't think I'm going with that shit. I'm tired. And my body just was like, it's just something just told me to stay your ass home. Boom. Memorial Day weekend all around. I'm in my bed. I'm starting to feel a little bit more weak. <laughs> body chills. <laughs> Headaches start booming, bitch. Like, ba boom, ba boom. I start getting high and cold. Body feels sore. I'm like, Am I catching the flu or a cold? I'm like, bitch, first of all, I wasn't even dressing that bad to catch no cold, no flu. A bitch was dressing real, real warm. So what the fuck is going on? I was following the weather, you feel me? I'm like, what the hell's going on? Boom. Fine. I started shitting. When I started shitting, I knew I had COVID. Because the last time I had COVID, I was shitting bricks. So this time, I started shitting. I said, yeah, bitch, you got COVID. I called my mom. I said, mommy, I need you to go get me a COVID test. I sent her the $8 to get the COVID test. Boom, come back to that shit at home. Bitch came out positive. I said, I know you fucking lying. I said, damn, bitch, you got COVID. I was like, you know what? My job ain't going to take this paper up and be like, oh, she got COVID because it's an at-home test. You know how that motherfuckers be. So I was like, you know what? Let me go um, to City MD. It was like around... Two o'clock, that was one of my house. So I just went there. Mom took me and I took the test. I took the PCR and the rapid. Both came out positive. They gave me a note. I'll go back to work till next week, basically. They was like, excuse you for the four days. He was like, and my fever was 102. I was like, damn. They was like, yeah, don't do nothing. Lay in your bed. They gave me some medication. So I'm taking ibuprofen and um, Tylenol. Which I want to strong knock this shit out. I'm just treating the symptoms to get out of my body. Um, today is a new day. My nose is still congested, still running. For some reason, my fucking nostril in the middle of the night was burning. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, ugh, COVID just be so nasty when you get it. And it's my third time. It's my only my third time I hear of COVID. And I, this shit just felt like hell. Like, I felt like I was getting ready to die. I was getting ready to tap out. I'm like, yo, what's going on? I'm like, I had this shit before. But this, I don't know, this one kind of felt worse. And then my cough was atrocious. And then I kept feeling this pain in my back. But low-key, when I did my hot girl walk and I stretched, I low-key felt the pain in my back. But I didn't feel like it was, like, anything crazy. Girl, never the fuck again. I'll tell you that. Never again. I'm sorry. I'm about to start wearing my mask everywhere because everybody getting sick. And <clears throat> I wanted to have a nice week this week. Today, I'm actually off, off, you know, for me. But I already sent my, my supervisor all the paperwork and everything, let them know. But I'm just hoping that this still COVID pay because I really do not feel like using my vacation. And low key, I feel like I'm use my vacation. And I'm like, fuck it, because whatever. I'm on this little mini vacation. It's not even really fucking vacation. It pisses me off. I'm supposed to have my vacation in August. Even though my vacation in August, I really have a vacation, I'll be home. But you know, fuck you talking about. Like, shit. Like, oh, I'm so fucking stressed out because that's not what I attended to for because I was just out. In April for the Bell Palsy. Now I'm out because of COVID. Like, like what, 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 what? The fuck? Well, let me enjoy my fucking summer. At least I know I won't get no COVID this summer. I could be outside because I'm going to have antibodies. Let's dance. Let's look at my head. Let's dance. I'm going to have antibodies. But um, to be honest, 
I was supposed to go to work this week, and then I was supposed to go to my cousin's christening, which is Sunday, I mean Saturday, which I'm still going to go because I'm sure that COVID will be gone by then. Then I'm supposed to go to my friend Kiana's graduation party, which is also the first. It's going to be a little bit later. We're going to have some liqueur. My bitch is a doctor. Kiana, if you're watching this girl, I'm so proud of you. You did your fucking big one. You stayed in school the longest and you did what you had to do because my bitch is now a fucking doctor, okay? Don't play with it. Dr. Kiana Hamilton. Put some respect on my sis name. I'm so proud of her. It's a new morning. I'm currently watching Bad Girls Club. Um, I don't agree with you. Like, I don't think this person's that way, but I'm just... Like, no, don't get involved in the same thing. Because I'm the type of person that's not going to talk about actually going to start. So, it's a new day. Uh, I still sound congested. I'm here drinking my little coffee. Um, I still sound congested. Like, I was clean. I have felt a little bit better, but then I have felt a little bit down. I'm just, like, really just trying to get all the mucus out. I don't know what level of COVID this is, but this bitch won't, this bitch won't let up. Like, this bitch is not that up off my neck. Like, she's still here. Like, bitch, let up a little bit. Like, I need her to get off of me. Like, she's not letting up at all. And it's getting annoying because, girl, let up. For real. Man. I want to do content today, but I have so much shit to do. First of all, my nails are crazy. That's another thing. These nails look crazy. Like, I don't feel my best. Like, I look horrible. I don't feel good. Like, ugh. <clears throat> like, I need my nails done. I need a sponsor. Stop like my mom. I need a sponsor, like a little sponsor. But if I go get my nails done, I'm probably just gonna do the fresh set. A small fresh set, simple because. It's literally my, it's literally Friday. I feel so much better. This is like my last day out here with COVID. All right, now I'm making myself breakfast. So, I'm something. so today's agenda is to literally um, buy some outfits for tomorrow. Because tomorrow I have two events to go to. Tomorrow I'm going to my baby cousin's christening. And also my friend Keanu, I already know. Shout out to my girl. She graduated big doc out here. And me and he got her a little gift. So... I'm going there tomorrow so I can find two outfits. Because tomorrow is at like 11 or something for my cousin. Christmas. And that's early as hell. So I got to be up. And it's it's in White Plains. I have family White Plains. You can't know that. It's all the way up there. Um, Today I'm going to be recording content. I really am going to get back into my podcast. Because I literally I haven't recorded anything for a month. And you just got to do what you got to do to do what you got to do. So I got to do that. And I think about doing like bag etiquette for fashion stuff on my um, YouTube as well. Because I know that like literally some of the girls don't know about bag etiquette. People be taking big ass bags. I went to a party, right? This lady had a Chanel bag. And I talk about, so I talk about the big like that like you put on your shoulder. Not like the one that's crossed by you to put your shoulder. This big ass Chanel bag at a party for what? That's not what you take to a party. That's like, you take those bags if like you go on and run on an errand. I, you just don't take a big ass tote, a Chanel tote bag to a party. It just don't make no sense. So bag etiquette is what we need to talk about. For the girls. If the girls don't know it, then they gotta get with it. Let me smell the dressing. I don't think I like this yogurt. Oh, fuck no. I wasn't going to put that in my sandwich. I just really wanted to smell it because it's avocado dressing, but I don't like that smell. 
But yeah, fried egg, fried sausage, yep, because I was thinking about boiling it, but honestly, I'm hungry and it's a good egg. Who likes to eat breakfast in the day? I was gonna go to Duncan and get me coffee, but you already got coffee in the house, save your money, honey. We don't want to spend no money, Yanny. So I'm doing better with that though. Because if you know I'm addicted to caffeine, not well. I saw a thing on TikTok, girls like people don't have coffee addictions, they have sugar addictions, which is true because honestly, if you be like, oh, if you be like, you wanna have it get coffee black, bitch, I'm gonna look at you like you crazy child because who was drinking that? Now so can be. Um the deli, I'm getting a sandwich. I tell them white cheese because white cheese is real cheese. Yellow cheese is coloring and shit like that. So I'm trying to stay with those days. From Aldi, this is a coffee creamer that is cookie cream. It's only 30 calories, no added sugar. It says organic grape A milk, organic cane sugar, organic cream, and natural flavors. It really don't really smell like cookies and cream. Like it they do a little bit, but like not OD. So I have that. And then I got this from Aldi as well. Okay, so change of plans. We're gonna go in with the creamer. That's why it tastes so strong too. That's why that coffee tastes the way it tastes. And then this is my cold foam. They'll tell you that cold foam from Aldi, put that shit on top of pancakes. Your French toast with some fruit. I told you. For coffee at home for the wheel, because you know what calories go into it. And, and I ain't spending no money. Each cheddar clothes. Did you try to put your head in? My coffee tastes bad, good. And it's not heavily roasted. Mm -hmm.
All right, so yeah, I just finished my makeup and literally I'm about to get ready. My aunt said she'll be here by like, like 10. So I'm about to go put my clothes on. But I'm right now waiting for my steamer to steam so I can, um, the light is like this because of the lighting. I'm waiting for my steamer to steam so I can steam my dress <coughs> and get ready and head out. See if they laugh or anything. Oh, they on the belt. They on the belt, bitch. They on the belt. Let me carry the fuck up. y'all so i'm home it was so nice tatum is literally such a baby that is so aware of everything and he's so sweet and so cute and chocolatey oh my gosh today was such a nice day with my family stuff like that um i'm literally exhausted i am showing sure my nails 
But this one pissing me off because it got that thing on it. And I'm really mad about that. But I just did one design on each. On my middle fingers. But do y'all see that? Literally it's pissing me off because why does it look like that? It literally got eyelash glue stuck on it. And I'm trying to take it off and it has not been coming off. I've washed my hands religiously. It has not came off yet. But... Um, so I'm about to take me a little nap because I have to head out to Keanu's thing. I'm probably going to leave here by like maybe 8.30 and head out over there. So I get there by like 9-ish. It starts at 7, but you know, black people time. <clears throat> leave here by 8.30. I can get there probably by like maybe 9.45, which is not bad. I'm going to take the train and the bus because my mom's not here to take me. And honestly, I don't feel like paying for an Uber. No, I just feel like I could, Ubers, I feel like Ubers are only for like, um, night night, like in the middle of the night, like bitch, it's like 2, 4 o'clock in the morning, who's going on the train, not me, bitch, like, not me, fuck out of here, I will be in an Uber going home, but, um, it's either that, I'm gonna go by, by Nika house and then we drive there, or I'm gonna just do that, and then I'm way home, I'll go with Anika to her house and take an Uber, because Anika live like, less than, what 20 minutes with me like you know what I mean? yeah so i don't know what i'm wearing did not look at that don't really care to find anything right now fucking exhausted i'm not doing my makeup over i'm gonna wash my ass again but i'm not doing my makeup over that's, that's a dub i'm just gonna put some blogging powder on and hopefully that makes the makeup look like a million bucks I'm right later. I guess level if yeah. it wasn't for all the support nice. I've been giving throughout all the time. All this time. So uh thank you and I love you all very, very much. We love you too. Well, today is literally a new day. Um I really want to figure out how to take this thing off. There's this tracking thing on my that I want to take off my camera because I can't even really see my face for real. It's so annoying. I really want to take it off. But, um. Oh my God, it's Sunday. I don't have a hangover, but my, I feel a little slow. Like, you know, after you drink liquor, you feel so slow. But yeah, last night was so much fun. It was a fucking movie. You know, like when you're just having fun with your friends, so like you want to record everything. Not everything has to be recorded. So yeah, yeah, I, I barely recorded last night, but we had so much fun. It was given. It was given middle school energy last night. <clears throat> Oh my god, if I could do middle school all over again, I would not change a mother fucking thing. You know, and I have these friends from middle school and literally we've been friends our whole life and I can never like I'm sorry, I can't imagine my life without them as my friends. Like I really cannot. Like I I, I can't imagine it. I, I just can't. I really can't. We've been friends since we were like fucking 12. I can't imagine anything else. Like, I really cannot. I can't. Like, we've really been friends for that long. And we're all 25. Well, no, not all. Ali is about to be 25 on the 6th. Anika's going to be 25 on the 2nd of August. So it's just like, we really just been friends for that long we're all about to be 25 years of age we've been friends since we were fucking 12 oh my god it's so it's such a beautiful thing honestly but last night was so much fun because we was talking about oh my god this don't give you middle school well, lauren lauren was like this don't give you our middle school vibes and we used to have middle school parties and in the lunchroom all we needed was the two tables we was outside last night and we had a motherfucking ball the liquor was liquoring the party was partying like, again, I said, congratulations to my sis, Kiana. I am so proud of you. I tell you this all the time. I am so proud of you, girl. You stuck to it. You did what you had to do. And I know it's not easy. People think that school is so easy. It's not easy peasy, especially when you got so much going on up there. You're still trying to figure out who you are. It's your first time having freedom to yourself. No one's telling you what to do. And it makes you need to discipline yourself to get what you need to get done. But like I said, girl, you did that shit. You did that shit. I'm so proud of you. I love you lots, girl. <laughs> but yeah i'm about to go edit and um i'm trying to take a slow because my head my head hurt like i'm gonna eat something 
but I'm not really hungry. I ain't gonna hold you that food though, because I didn't eat the food there. I literally fucked that food up. You know it's a fucking lit night when you hungry and you eating cold food. It do not matter. That shit still hit the same. And that's what we did last night. But anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next vloggy vlog. Bye.